This is uh, 365 Days of Movies, a series where I look at my top 365 movies. So, let's go to the next movie. Number 51, Days and Confused, rating 9.50. Released in 1993, directed by Richard Lankletter, starring Jason London, Jory Lauren Adams, Mila Jovovich, Sean Andrews, Rory Cochran, Adam Goldberg, Anthony Rapp, Sasha Jensen, Marissa Ribisi, Dina Martin, Michelle Burke, Cole Hauser, Christine Harnos, Willie Wiggins, Mark Vandermeulen, Esteban Powell, Jeremy Fox, Ben Affleck, Jason O. Smith, Kristen Hinojisa, Parker Posey, Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey, Catherine Avril Morris, and Nikki Cat. This coming-of-age film follows the mayhem of a group of rowdy teenagers in Austin, Texas, celebrating the last day of high school in 1976. The graduating class heads for a popular pool hall and joins an impromptu keg party. However, star football player Randall Pink Floyd has promised to focus on the championship game and abstain from partying. Meanwhile, the incoming freshmen try to avoid being hazed by the seniors, most notably the statistic bully Fred Ben. So, this movie is just such a well-made movie and such a great period piece taking place in the 70s and the individuals that, that portray their roles do it really well. However, it one... Um, Pretty much my only critique of the movie is how much uh, uh, Willie Wiggins touches his nose in this movie, covering up his inability to act. And I'm going to touch my nose now because it got itchy. And I'm not acting. I'm just being me. So hold off. But obviously, he was a, he was new to it. So you can't really discount him. And the character is good. And it 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 sort of mirrors Pink uh, Randall Pink Floyd and this... Uh, the rest of the movie is just this this uh, evolving narrative as they head towards the final party after the end of school, and people have to make decisions about their lives moving forward. And you know, I, I read the stat, the, the the starring list, and there are so many people that made their careers out of this movie, and uh, just so many wonderful actors in this in this period piece. And I remember. I was on a date with a, a girl that had been visiting Canada from Germany and it was one of our last dates and I decided to watch this movie with her and she was horrified at the very beginning with all the paddling and uh, she turned to me and she's like, is this, do people act like this? And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, it's a little over the top, but it's an accurate depiction of things that even go on now. And I'm sure it was even more, more so like that in the seventies. And uh, she was kind of horrified by that. And I'm like, I, I don't know, I guess. I guess that was not a European thing. I guess it's really just a North American thing. And the, and there's a lot of gaps in the culture. So the movie itself is, is uh, you know, I love high school movies and I love, you know, the, the looking at the past and how, and how different teenagers have had to deal with the same kind of, you know, themes and, and, uh, you know, moving forward with, with their lives and that sort of thing. And there's a lot of mirroring between the, the younger kids and the older kids and a lot of storylines that are interweaving throughout that. It's just such a well-made film. And if you haven't seen Days and Confused, go check it out. It's really, uh, you know, I guess from the moment it starts and <laughs> the fact that the, the movie mostly takes place on the day I was born, maybe that is something that really drew me in. But I've watched it so many times afterwards, and it's such a good movie. So like I said, go check it out. Hey everybody, this has been 365 Days of Movies. We're going to keep plowing ahead. So let me know what you think of this movie, and if you want to discuss it further, comment below. If I get a lot of interest, I may very well make a full review of the movie, maybe even a video essay. So let me know what you think. 
and let's get to the next one.